What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a little bit of a buy sell regret video in that I'm going to go through why I repurchased the Canon. This is the RF 35mm 1.8. This is an STM. They call it a macro lens. It's not a one-to-one -one, but it can do some, some light macro work. Uh, I recently sold my copy of this and purchased it back and I'll kind of go through a little bit of reasons why when I go through the unboxing of this on why I think this is a good lens to keep and hold on to, especially if you're on the RF camera system uh, mirrorless setup there. So the things that I disliked about this when I sold it was I wish it was a little bit wider, mainly because I use it mainly for video. I love the 35 millimeter focal length for photo work, but the thing is is that I did not find that this lens was all that special compared to uh, like the Canon 35mm 1.4L, the Nikon 35mm 1.4 uh, lens that they have, the Sony 35mm GM lens, uh, the 1.4, uh, even the 1.8 that Sony has a lot, a lot of character to it. So this is a superb lens when it comes to sharpness, just clinical actual performance of the lens. It's a little slow to focus uh, compared to the I have the 50mm 1.2 with the dual nano USM motors in it, so it focuses way faster than this. This can be a little slow at times. Uh, not when you have good lighting, but in poor lighting, I just found that it wasn't all that great. Um, so I use this lens probably 40% of the time, 60% of the time I use the 50 just because it's such a magical lens. Uh, this lens I found that only about 25 to 30% of my photos I found had a little bit of character to them. Every, all the other ones just seem like your standard $400, 35mm lens from the past 10 years. Nothing too special about it. They're all super sharp. That is one thing that I really like about this is that it's, it's a super sharp lens. Uh, that's mainly because it's a newer lens. It's on the RF mirrorless system, so it's, uh, I think I think all their lenses are fairly sharp. Even if they're cheap, $200, like 50 millimeter 1.8 is a really good sharp lens, so not much here. They still give you a warranty card with these. Uh, I don't know why. I feel like some of my stuff comes with warranty cards. My Canon R6 did not come with a warranty card. Uh, you just register online and it just is registered through the Canon through that. Uh, so you do get a warranty card there, which I don't really I think I should probably get rid of those all together and just tie the warranty to the serial number on the lens. Good packaging. I bought this directly from Canon. You can get the refurbished co copy of this for $3.99, so I'd recommend that route. Um, this is something that was purchased for me uh, because I really regretted selling the first one. Mainly, I'll go through that when I get through this, so mainly because of this. I don't know if you can see that, but the size of this thing, uh, it's getting a little bit warmer here. We're in Ohio. We have a 19 month old and we're going to have another baby here soon in the summer. And carrying around the 50 mm 1.2, it's just too large of a lens. It's a massive lens. And originally I was going to sell all my Canon RF stuff and my Canon R6 and go to the Sony route just because of their lens choices in their size in their lens choices so the 35 millimeter sony 1.4 g master lens is probably the best 35 millimeter if you ask me lens ever produced currently uh, i know that there's probably some debate there but i think it's just an excellent lens i only used it for about a week when i rented it a long time ago when i had when i was on the sony system so originally i was going to switch systems all together but I decided to give this another go around. Uh, while the character I don't think is there, I do believe that 2022 Canon's going to really come out with some some good quality lenses. I hope they don't focus on all these super zooms, like a like a, all these ten thousand dollar, four hundred millimeter, six hundred millimeter uh, super zooms. I really hope they start getting into the. 24, 35, 1.4, 1.2, I don't care. Uh, just something a little bit variety with the primes. I don't really care for the zooms. Uh, the 70 to 200 is something I've been looking at, but the other zooms, the like the what is it, 28 to 70 or whatever, I don't care about those. Those are too big, too large, too expensive, uh, too cumbersome. Uh, I'm not a professional wedding photographer, so I don't need anything like that. 
Uh, but this is the lens that I think I'm going to start trying to use more and more, mainly because of the compact size. Uh, it is fast to focus, especially in decent lighting. Uh, it's excellent for video. Uh, you can focus extremely close, so you can get some unique photos uh, with that. Uh, it has a macro capability. It's cheap, uh, $4.99, so if I break it, which I don't think I will. I'm pretty somewhat gentle on my lenses. Uh, my toddler is not, but that's a different story. Um, but if it's a nice feeling lens, nice compact, especially with the Canon R6. Uh, you have a small filter here. Uh, I think this is 52, 52, 52 millimeters. So the filters for these are really cheap. So if you want to get an ND filter or just a protection filter, they're, they're pretty cheap there. Uh, it does have a metal lens mount. Uh, there's no weather sealing that I know of on this. So there's no rubber gasket or anything like that. But uh, I used this on the beach when we went to Marco Island and the copy I had, it literally sat on the beach, uh, got sand in it, no water or anything like that, but it uh, was in pretty harsh conditions on the beach for four or five days. I tr drug it out there often and it was excellent. I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, so that's why we're gonna give this another try just because of the size uh, and it does have image stabilization, so it's really good for video. I tried the 60 millimeter uh, 2.8, but for one, it just wasn't a wide enough aperture. The 1.8 is a good kind of medium ground for video. I think 1.8 to 2.0 is a real good video uh, uh, aperture for that. Uh, so that's it. I don't know if this was helpful. Uh, definitely buy this refurbished from Canon for $3.99. Save yourself some money. You still get a one year warranty. You just don't get the fancy box, which most people probably don't even care about. Uh, but I'm gonna give it another go around. Uh, mainly because I think what I'm going to do is sell my 50 millimeter 1.2 and I recently adapted uh, Canon's old 135 millimeter f2. I did not like adapting these lenses. I will never do that again. But while it did perform really well, the focusing was pretty good. The lens just, I mean, the, when you have the adapter on there and the lens, it just gets it to looking super ridiculous just with how large it is. Uh, if I'm going to adapt anything, I'm just going to switch over to Canon altogether. So we're going to try doing this. It may be the 70 to 200, the F4, the, the 2.8, and see what Canon comes out with. Because my ideal lens setup is a 35mm 1.4, which they're probably not going to release. They've been rumored to release the 35mm 1.2 L for supposedly it was just come out last year, but with COVID and all the ship semiconductor stuff all, you know, through the loop and the world's ending or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they haven't released that yet. So as soon as they release that, I will get 35 millimeter 1.2 L. I will get the 24 millimeter 1.8 STM of this, which they've been rumored to re release that soon also. And then I'll probably do the 7200 because our toddler is really starting to get into swim lessons. He loves being outside. And I find that that will give me a little bit of versatility. We go to the zoo all the time. We go to the aquarium, uh, museums. Uh, we have a big train exhibit here, the indoor one we can go to. And I find that the 50 millimeter is just not quite versatile enough. So I get the 35 to 72 200. That's going to be my ideal setup. So that's why I repurchased this and in looking to sell my 50 millimeter 1.2. I haven't had tons of luck yet uh, just because I'm not in any rush because uh, I still use it fairly often. It is a really magical lens and this produces magical images. Uh, they're just not as frequent as the 50 millimeter 1.2 where all of those uh, have some character and some real, real depth to them. Uh, just stuff you don't see that often. This is very similar to every 35 millimeter besides it's super sharp. So the sharpness on this is definitely, it's top notch. So that's it. Uh, sorry for the rambling. Hopefully this is the last time shooting in our baby's playroom. I do plan on doing some more videos downstairs in my normal setup. Uh, but this is all I had time to do right now. So if you have any comments, questions, leave them below. Uh, I'll probably do, I already did a review on this lens, but I'll kind of go through maybe some shooting of it, uh, just some kind of behind the scenes shooting of it, some photos from it, uh, because you can get really good images from it and it's versatile and small. Enough rambling, have a good rest of the day, weekend, whatever's out there, be safe and I'll see you guys next time.